Welcome to this video. This video explains how to create a crack in a part and then how to partition and design mesh around the crack in this part. After that, this video explains how to investigate onset of cracking using J-integral control. For this purpose, a part with a conical crack is modeled as an axisymmetric problem. We start with creating a rectangle as an axisymmetric section of the cracked part. The dimension is 300 by 300. Now we should create crack and some partition in this part. For this purpose we use create partition and then face and sketch. And at the first step we partition this part around the crack. This partitioning can help us in creating appropriate mesh around the crack. Then we can create the crack. The crack starts from this point which is 10 millimeters far from the corner and the first line defines the end of the crack now we use an infinite line with the angle of minus 45 to create the crack This is the start point of the crack and we create a line as the seam of the crack. The circle around the crack can help us to create appropriate mesh around the crack and also we add some more partition to control the mesh design around the crack. Finally, we also partition the region close to the circle. We use a special mesh for the inside of the circle and also we control outside of this circle. In summary, in this sketch, at first we created the crack. Then we create a circle around the crack tip to use a special elements around the crack tip. In the next step, we partitioned around the circle to control mesh size distribution around the circle. Then we go to the property module and we want to create a linear elastic material for the part. For this purpose, we only enter the Young modulus and Poisson ratio of the material in this table and then create a section and assign the section to the part. Please notice that this problem is in the category of linear elastic fracture mechanics because the material behavior is linear elastic and there is no nonlinearity in the problem. In the next step, we insert the part as an independent instance in the assembly module. In the step module, we define a static general step. As the whole problem is linear, we use only one increment to solve this step. Then we go to the interaction module to create the crack specification. We use a special and crack and then create and create a crack based on contour integral. We should choose the tip of the crack and then we should assign the direction of crack extension. In the next tab of this window, we can set the type of the singularity of the elements. For linear elastic problems, we can create the singularity by collapsing one side of the elements to one node and also moving the mid-side node to the 
one quarter distance of the site. More details about creating various singularity in Abacus software are explained in our next video. And finally, we assign the crack seam to the line of the crack. After creating the crack, we can come back to the step module and request J integral contour. We use history output request and then the domain is crack and also we enter the number of contours as the J integral should be path independent. By this way, we can compare the value for different path. In the load module, at first we apply X symmetry to the left border of the part. We fix these nodes from moving in the X direction, which enforce the axisymmetric condition. Then we apply Y symmetry to the bottom border of the part. And in the other words, we fix these nodes in the Y direction. Finally, we apply pressure to the base of the conic in the top surface. The magnitude of the pressure is 10 and the amplitude of the pressure is ramp. Now we can go to the mesh module. At first we try to apply quadrilateral structured mesh all over the part unless the circle around the crack tip. This type of mesh cannot be applied to these regions at the first time. And one more time we try to apply quadrilateral structured mesh to these regions. For the circle around the crack tip, we use quadrilateral dominated mesh with sweep algorithm. Then we use seeding edge option of the mesh module to create refined mesh around the crack region. In fact, we use finer mesh for all of these edges which are close to the circle. Also, we pick the arc of the circle. The most important part of designing mesh for this problem is mesh inside the circle. For this purpose, we use seeding the edge and also we use bias for variable mesh size inside the circle. The minimum size of meshes is 0.1 and the maximum is 1. And also we modify the direction of the mesh bias. As you can see, Finally, the mesh is one tenfold smaller at the center of the circle. In the last step of designing the mesh, we apply global mesh size to the remained part of the model. And now we can mesh this model. We also should assign element type to this part. The elements are standard and axisymmetric stress and the quadratic elements are superior in modeling stress concentration or stress gradient. Also collapsed quadratic elements can create singularity around the crack tip. Now we can create the job and submit the job. Now we can go to the visualization module and see the results of the problem. 
Please notice that the deformation is scaled by a large factor. We can observe the stress concentration around the crack tip. Also, please notice that the location of the mid node of the second order elements is closer to the crack tip as we designed in the creation of the crack. We can plot the J integral contour from results history output. And this point here shows the J integral value. We can also plot all the values together to compare them. Please notice that the values are really close together. There is also a simpler way to show the results of J integrals. We can use DAT file. We can open it from the directory or open it from the job monitor. At, and at the end of this file, we can find the values of J integrals. As we expected, these values are close together, which shows that these values are reliable. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment, or a subscribe. See you in next videos.